But here we are guys, it is me and Mr. JP Land here today at University of Hollywood. Just a beautiful day in general today. It is warm. Like, I'll be honest with you guys, I'll probably, you're probably gonna see some like, little sweat beads today. But uh, I'm excited to get in there, JP. Like again, we get to see Death Eaters tonight, so. Are you excited? Are you excited? <laughs> we get some Death Eaters again. Guys, hit the like button. If we get to like 200 likes, Dustin's gonna do Horror Nights. No! We're gonna try to get him through the Stranger Things maze. That, that's it. Stranger Things, I feel like, is a possibility. I feel like that's like the one maze that I would like possibly consider so doing. Scary. Are you guys afraid of H.E. Jenner? Like, are you okay with it? Like, is it just me? Like, is this just a me thing at this point? I like, so. so. I got my sister through the haunted houses. That's not good. That's, <laughs> I guess there's a like goal now on this video. Like, 200 likes. We're gonna get to, we're gonna get Dustin to Hornets. And we are already being hit with that classic, classic E.T. music as we make our way down the red carpet. JP, when I hear this music, this really makes me think of like old school Universal. And it still gets me hyped. It's like this song and when Back to the Future plays, like those are the two theme songs out here that really make me like nostalgic and remember old school Universal. And then I'm hit with Super Nintendo everywhere and it reminds me that I'm still at like the current park. But I don't know. I really like hearing the E.T. theme. Like that's so cool. Did you ever get to ride E.T. here? I didn't get to do it here. It oh. 2003. I was born in 2004. Oh my god. So, you were born after it closed? Yeah. That's nuts. I was born before the mummy ride opened. So I'm right. older than the mummy Okay. Ride. Guys, I am officially very old because I rode E.T. here. Obviously I've done it plenty in Florida. But my goodness, JP not even being born? That's insane. But we got a lot to do in there, guys. We got food to try. We got rides to ride. I got things to show you. There's so much merch. At the Universal Studio Store, right when you walk in, there is an entire collection of Jurassic Park 30th anniversary merch. There's even some stuff for the little ones right here, a lanyard. They have this really cool long sleeve with an amazing graphic on the back that is running $80. They also have this super cool logo tumbler for $29. But I think the star of the show has to be this jean jacket that has the patch on the front and a pretty insane massive stitched graphic on the back. This jacket runs $110, but it is amazing. On the Horror Nights side of things and just announced by the park on Twitter was that Stranger Things is coming to Horror Nights in 2023. They are currently selling this hat that will run you $30 and they have this really insane shirt that has a HHN logo on the sleeve and that is also $33. But we haven't even done our intro yet guys, so how's it going Shark Squad? You are officially hanging with the shark. It's time to lock in. I'm gonna give a shout out right now to someone that commented on the last vlog, but congratulations on that shout out. If you guys want a shout out in the next vlog, leave a comment right now. Let me know you want a shout out and you could be the next winner. We've got some police action here. Let's see what he's doing. Did someone litter? Is there a litterer? What happened here? I don't know, we should go to the bottom of it there. That's not good. No, it's clear tape. If it's red tape, I have a problem getting through the red tape. Okay, that's fair. It's only been two days since we have been here, but the progress on the special effects stage and the old animal actor show is absolutely staggering. It seems like they've already done so much more since just the last time we were here. They are really working to get that special effects stage just absolutely gone and taken care of. This construction is moving right along for the upcoming Fast and Furious roller coaster that was announced by Universal Studios Hollywood on Twitter. If you guys want to know more about that coaster, unfortunately there is not too much more that we know outside of rumors and speculation. And if we want to absolutely dive into those rumors and the speculation, a lot of people online, a lot of forums, the inside Universal forums, just searching Twitter, all of those people are saying that this should technically be our Velocicoaster. And what I mean by that is like the speed, the excitement, the thrill of Velocicoaster. That's what this coaster is supposed to be for us. Obviously it's not legitimately Velocicoaster, but that is what it is technically supposed to feel for us. A very thrilling and awesome roller coaster. And if any of you guys have ever been on that coaster, you know just how amazing it is. And think about how cool it would be to have that at Universal Studios Hollywood. Now all of this is actually kind of a bittersweet moment for me because I gotta be honest, I'm very excited for a roller coaster in this park. We needed a really good roller coaster on the level of Velocicoaster, right? Like amazing, but so many memories in this theater guys not only with the special effects show more recently but i remember watching spider-man rocks in there i know jp watches you know the jabberwockies in there during horror nights so favorite show now there's a question of like for horror nights like do the jabberwockies still have a place to perform like where would that be in the park so there's a lot of unanswered questions now with something like that going away and for me guys like i remember being in there i remember seeing the green goblin flying down i remember the i need a hero song i remember i really liked it because it honestly had a lot of influence from the raimi series and I love Tobey Maguire. I love the Spider-Man Raimi series. And this one felt very Raimi. And I missed it. Like, I missed those memories. But I, again, like, I can't complain too much. I'm so excited for a roller coaster. Another look down nostalgia lane right here, guys. Krusty Land, which, of course, used to be the Back to the Future attraction. 
What's your guys' thoughts on that? Do you miss Back to the Future? Are you happy about the Simpsons ride? How much longer for the Simpsons ride even? Do you think it has a long future here at this park, JP? Or is it- I don't know, but what I'm really thinking about is where Jabberwockies are gonna go. Oh, you're still thinking about that. Yeah, <laughs> so we're, we're on to the next topic. Wait, 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 this is the next topic, JP. Okay, try. all right, go ahead. They should pre-record the Jabberwockies dance they have from Florida and make a whole Jabberwockies experience wow. over here. Using Mugen or what are we using? So. Uh, just the ride system. Project, okay, the ride. Project the Jabberwockies <laughs> dancing, but create an immersive. And, and while you're on the ride? Yeah, it simulates you <laughs> dancing. <laughs> You, you can dance with a I, I think that would be the first dancing theme park attraction, I gotta admit. Well, no, we have the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Road. Well, okay, that's fair, but like a full on, like this is a dance ride. Yeah. Like, that's what that would be. So they, they have like maybe a Java Walkie instructor, and it, it ends with a crazy laser show. And I don't know, I, I feel like that would be really cool. That would be kind of nuts, I agree. We have just made our way down to the lower lot, and JP, do you feel this way? Like, when I see the Jurassic World, I just like think of you. It just feels like synonymous with you. Like that that's your ride. Like that's I yours. Think it's because I was just here like literally every single day leading up to the I think it's also thing. your name though. Oh yeah. <laughs> My initials are JP if you don't know. Right? Yes. I told you probably about 2 months ago now that I really wanted to go on like a significant cut. I really wanted to diet and like I did really well like the first probably 2 or 3 weeks. As you just can see, like I look pretty much the same. Like I didn't do anything significant. I didn't stick to it. I traveled. I went on vacation, and it just it got tough. And I, I think uh, dieting is tough. Like dieting is very hard. Like I'm trying to like get back on the wagon now and like do right. Uh, we ironically we had milkshakes today at two swims. Like that didn't help. I just had a little bit. Um, but I, I drank all of it. It was too good. JP drank all of it. I want to come back later and just get another. But aren't you the same way even right now? Like you're trying to like cut a little bit and slim up or like, what are you trying to accomplish yourself right now? I want a six pack. I want to be the buffest <laughs> guy walking around the park. JP wants that six pack. I, I honestly, like, I just want to lean up a little bit. Like I want to lose probably like 15 pounds. Like just get a little slimmer, like look, feel good. Like when I come out here and do that whole thing. But it's like a day like today helps because it's hot. We're getting a lot of steps. We usually get in over like 15,000 steps when we come, which yeah. is fantastic, of course, if you can keep your calories low and get that kind of movement just from walking in a theme park. That's fantastic. It's kind of tough with the theme park food, though. So oh, man. we really I, have to discipline ourselves. It, it, You're not good with that. No, I'm not. a whole Luigi's pizza last time. Well, a slice, not a whole one. Come on. No, he's right. He's yeah. he's definitely right. Like there's a there's a balance because like when you come here, like oh, there's so many good food options and you have to try to find like a healthy option if you want to do this kind of thing. I'm curious to you guys, like, are you guys in the middle of like a diet, a cut, like anything like that? I know we really like really talked about that, that vlog about eight weeks ago. So I'm curious where you guys are at. If you guys started, how you're doing, let me know. What have you guys put in one of my comments, I think on a video, like two videos back that you've been going to the gym like five or six days a week. And I thought that was awesome. Like, that's amazing. I'm not doing that, <laughs> at least not right now. Like I was. I am. JP is. Yes, I, I need to get back into it. So soon. Also, this is also big news. I'm moving. I told you this. Like you, JP knows this. I'm moving into a brand new apartment it's a totally big deal so i'm gonna be showing that with you guys on the vlog and you guys follow my move it's a totally new place and i think that's really cool i'm really excited for the move i'm nervous about it i'm nervous about the move like it's something different it's something new but nothing crazy like i'm still gonna be in la we're still gonna be going to the parks together but it's a new place so i'm excited i do want to say this though about that luigi's pizza slice at least it went to like a good cause and i think that's also gonna be like kind of a tough thing because i just started this brand new series on basically all channels except for youtube theme park shark food reviews where we review one theme park food item basically every time we come here um, and it's a, a big series I'm gonna build out so how am I gonna stick to the diet and try that food I think I'm gonna have to really stick to like one or two bites and call it a day what do you want to eat today I think I'm gonna go for a churro I think it's gonna be a churro review okay. today I think that's very fair I think I have to get the Disney Universal like churro review out like ASAP I so. personally like Universal churros better okay so we're, we're gonna see how, how I rate it and that's gonna be a part of uh, some of the first theme park shark food reviews I actually haven't shown this yet on the vlog, but right here, kind of like where you come up, this is perfect timing, huh, as rides come down. But right above here, when you come up the stairs, Universal Studios Hollywood has built a little 30th anniversary Jurassic Park bar to celebrate that 30th anniversary. And it's nice because you can come up here, it's kind of more private. You know, if you want like a, you know, more of like a quiet moment, if you're on like a date or whatever it might be, I think this is like a really good place to kind of come up, just chill, maybe grab a drink. And especially like as, as the sun goes down and everything gets cool and you know things get a little more darker up here i think this is a great private kind of like almost more intimate moment that where you can just have and just chill and have some jurassic park inspired drinks and talking about those drinks here they are the tiki cocktail there's a bird of paradise a tiki thai jurassic water snacks and beverages they have assorted chips and nuts uh, there's bottled soda and boxed water there's spirits there's cocktails there's all kinds of stuff and the thing that really stands out to me is that mosasaurus that they put on top of this drink look at how cool it is it's eating a cherry instead of kevin 
It's not eating Kevin. Thank goodness, because if it had a shark in there, I would have taken it a little personally, but <laughs> this time it is not eating Kevin the shark. It's eating a cherry, and it just looks so cool on top of that drink. So I actually am here today because I had a media event with Universal Studios Hollywood this morning where they took us to Tusum's Chocolate Emporium to try milkshakes. Right now they have an exclusive shake called the Rocket Pop, which is it really inspired by like those summer rocket popsicles. And it's super cool. And the milkshake is for the 30th anniversary of City Walk here in Hollywood, which I thought was really cool. They're doing something to celebrate 30 years of City Walk at Tucson. I didn't take any like long form clips for a vlog for that. I did more of like a short form style of the event and I posted on Twitter and threads and Instagram. But I mean, if I have clips, I'll throw some in right now. But thank you so much, Universal Studios, for having me out. It was a fantastic event as always. I really appreciated it. I had the Thrillin' Vanilla Milkshake even. I also tried that, which I thought was really, really good as well. That was a vanilla milkshake with uh, vanilla wafers and all this really cool cream around uh, the shakes. If you guys haven't been to Tucson's Chalk and Emporium yet, it is an incredible place because the milkshakes that they have there, guys, like they are insane. There's actual cake on top of the milkshakes. Sometimes there's cupcakes. There's all kinds of like really just like over the top decorations that they put on this, these milkshakes. And I think they're just really, really cool. So if you have like little ones or you want to really impress and give them some really cool shakes, you got to take them to two of Chocolate Emporium. Don't you agree on that? They should really make a JP Land shake. Ooh, what would it have in it? What would, what would a JP Land shake? A bunch of dino nuggets and- <laughs> Dino nuggets? I feel like that'd be really good. Do you think it'd be good? Like the, like the, cause I know people dip like their fries like in Wendy's Frosties. Is that kind of the equivalent? Like you could dip that would work. chicken nuggets. Maybe they could, could. Would you put it on top though, or serve it on the side? Like, go ahead and dip it. Or maybe like, they could put like dino nugget shaped candies. So not even actual. Yeah, well, you're totally changing it up now. Come on, I gotta pick one. So oh, we need to have a talk about JP suggestions today between the Jabberwockies ride and the dino gummies. Now, no, what, what's going on today, JP? Are you overstimulated by your media event? Like, what's going on? I think so. That, <laughs> I think that's I'm what just it is. So excited. I think that's what it I is. I think too. my creative juices are also yes, like. They're flowing right now. Flowing right They're now flowing. because it's closer to Halloween time. If you, you don't know already, I always build a haunted house. Yes, oh, are you building one? Is, are you announcing it right now? Is that I meant to ask you this. I'm happy it's happening on the vlog. What's happening, JP? You got to give me an answer. I'm like 50 50 right now. Okay. I'm trying to get my parents to allow me. And if okay. they do, I'm 100%. We'll doing. take 50 50. Yeah. Ooh, there is a baby raptor out today. Are you folks looking for the ride? Huge, huh? Yeah, that's the ride over there. This is baby Sierra. You can pet her if you want. Ooh, we're petting right now. Wow. Now she is just a baby, folks. In fact, right now she's about six months. Whoa, whoa! Estimate with 10 and 20 pounds of meat. Closer to 10 right now because she is pretty little. And she's actually oh, a good JP. Good. You might be a trainer after all. She really likes me. It, it makes sense. Me or I, I, again, I think it's because of your name. I think that's what's going. <laughs> You know, hearing all this music takes me right back to the opening day where there was just so much excitement. The first time I walked through this warp pipe, I just remember my heart racing and all the emotions that were going through. I will never forget that. And the thing that still remains today that's just as impressive and just as exciting is this reveal. When you first walk through these doors, every single time, regardless if you've been here one time, 10 times, whatever it is, this reveal right here never gets old. I mean, look at that. Because JP and I are gonna go meet my cousin, Jeremy, who is here with uh, his girlfriend, Michelle, and they're eating dinner at Vivo in City Walk. So we're gonna go have Vivo. And JP and I absolutely love, we have a Vivo secret for you guys. We get the chicken parmesan at Vivo, which used to not even be on the menu at one point, right? Like the yes. normal chicken parm? When like, they reopened after COVID, yes. they didn't have the chicken parm for a no. while. And that was our, that was our favorite. Favorite favorite dish we love that dish we also we do like their pizza the pizza's pretty good uh but we love the chicken parm and the hack that we do the little secret we don't get the normal sauce we get alfredo sauce on our chicken parm on the chicken and on the noodles next level guys so next level very dangerous when it comes down to the diet but yes that's really true good. yeah I, ironically we were talking about a diet earlier now we're talking about that <laughs> <laughs> we probably shouldn't order that today but michelle went for my chicken parm hack i was telling them about it earlier in the vlog <laughs> She got my chicken parm hack. JP, you got it too, so you're doing bad on your diet. We don't have to tell them what I ordered, by the way. We're at Vivo. How many times have you been here? Probably my fourth time. Fourth time? Like Every single time you come here, like, what have you thought? Like, it's pretty good or? Wait. It's all right. I mean, I prefer my Chi-Chi's back home. Yeah, J J Jeremy's <laughs> big on Chi-Chi's, which is just like a local Italian restaurant by our house. I've had it here and I had it in Orlando as well. That's true, you have had it in Orlando as well. Shout out to Eric. Shout out to <laughs> But yeah, after this, we're gonna go back in the park. We're gonna see what else we can do. Obviously, there's some cool things going on in Hogsmeade right now, so I'm excited to take these guys into the park and show them what's going on. How's, how's that water? It's empty, I was just <laughs> pretending to drink. You know what I was just thinking? Alrighty, guys, we are back inside the park after leaving Vivo. 
We had our dinner. We are going to, of course, go back to Hogsmeade to check out what is going on with not only the show, Dark Arts at Hogwarts Castle. Hey. Are there any rides you want to get on today, Jeremy, or anything you're thinking about? Come on, man. So what are you thinking? Thinking Forbidden Journey. You want to go on Forbidden Journey? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, that's a good ride. That's honestly one of my favorites in here. I think Mario Kart's my all-time favorite right now, but Forbidden Journey's solid. Next stop, though, Green Gods in Orlando. Yes, 100%. Definitely got to go back to Green Gods. That is probably another one of my like all-time favorites, so good call there. I'm making Michelle the official question answer because Jeremy can't seem to answer questions appropriately today. So, Michelle, we're going to have some butterbeer right now, right? Yes, very like, excited. Have you had the butterbeer here like quite a bit? or like? I've had it once. Okay. It was amazing. Do you so, remember if it was just like the normal cold one? Was it frozen? Was it, it was hot? Definitely frozen. Frozen. It had that nice foam on top. Yep, yep. Super good. Okay, so, so today you're going to go back for frozen, or what are you thinking? Okay, cool. Cool, that's a good call. Oh, we can go be frank with him. You're gonna go be frank with him? Yeah. Okay. Look at this. That, like, all that uh, foam on top does look so Who's good. Who's that supermodel? That's Michelle. Oh, okay. Is that your girlfriend? That is my girlfriend. Wow, how about wow. that? <laughs> oh, that looks good, though. How is it today? And the drink looks good, too. Okay, nice. <laughs> Fog! He's ready for Horror Nights! That looks gnarly, guys, in the fog. Look at this. Oh, boy. Something's happening, guys. Way too slow. Rock, paper, scissors! Oh, this has never been done. You need a wand. Guys, we have a rock, paper, scissors fight here. Shoot! Give him something! <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.